good morning to all today's topic is i can value and i can vector in this it is a type 2 it will be a repeated root with non symmetric matrix see here check it is non symmetric matrix means it is a given matrix when you change row into column so it is a different matrix so it is a non symmetric matrix so repeated roots we will check the roots okay first step we will calculate characteristic equation a minus lambda i equal to 0 so when we write it 2 minus lambda 1 1 2 3 minus lambda 2 3 3 4 minus lambda so now after uh, writing normal matrix multiplication you can do it the determinant you can calculate it or use the shortcut the shortcut is nothing but lambda q minus s1 into lambda square plus s2 into lambda minus s3 equal to 0 so s1 i will calculate s1 is sum of the diagonal elements sum of the diagonal elements is nothing but 2 plus 3 plus uh, 4 so it is nothing but 2 plus 3 plus 4 so it is nothing but 9 okay so yes 2 yes 2 is nothing but this the same a i will write it here 2 1 1 2 3 2 2 so 3 3 4 okay so the diagonal elements are first diagonal element is to corresponding row on column you omit it so the corresponding determinant plus next diagonal element is 3 the corresponding row on column omit it so that it is 2 1 3 4 plus next diagonal element is 4 so the corresponding row on column omit it so when you write it in a determinant one 2 1 2 3 so calculate this answer is nothing but uh, 12 12 minus 6 so 6 plus 8 8 minus 3 so 5 plus 6 6 minus 4 4 so it is nothing but 15 okay so calculator same way as 3 as 3 is nothing but determinant of a determinant of a you can calculate in a calculator you will be getting so 7 i am getting the determinant so 7 Okay, substitute in the equation. So lambda cube minus nine lambda square plus fifteen lambda minus seven equal to zero. So we can solve this using synthetic division. Synthetic division. or using a calculator you can solve it okay so that also you can do it okay so synthetic division or you do it manual means it's a synthetic division or you are going with the calculator means that also you can do it your wish only so so synthetic division now i will solve it by synthetic division so how to solve it the synthetic division so when i solve it 1 minus 9 15 minus 7 so here you have to first zero here we have to make it a zero first i will check it for a one okay so 1 1 1 into 1 minus 8 minus 8 into a 1 it's 8 okay minus 8 so it's 7 7 into 1 7 so it becomes 0 so one of the eigen value is 1 okay remaining you can write it in terms of equation so lambda square minus 8 lambda plus 7 equal to 0 this you can write as the product of two elements you can write so 7 it is there so lambda minus 7 into 
lambda minus 1 equal to 0. Multiply it, yes, I am getting. So, all the three eigenvalues are lambda equal to 1, 1, 7 or the eigenvalues. So, eigenvalues we have calculated. See here, check two values are repeated. Okay. So, it is comes under the type 2. Repeated eigenvalues with non symmetric matrices. Okay, next step, we have to go with the eigenvector. Okay, so what is the procedure for eigenvector means? First, you write the equation. First step, a minus lambda i into x equal to 0. x is nothing but column vector. So, when I write it, it's nothing but 2 minus lambda 1, 1. So, 2, so 3 minus lambda 2, 3, 3, 4 minus lambda x1, x2, x3 equal to 0, 0, 0. First step, what we have to do means when you have a 3 eigenvector, first non-repeated. Which is non-repeated? The 3. 3 eigenvector 3 is non-repeated. First that only you have to complete. Okay. You cannot take any anything and do. Okay. First Non-repeated, you have to take it. When lambda equal to 7, we have to take it first and find the eigenvector. Okay. So, when lambda equal to 7, you substitute in this. So, you get uh, what is the equation I am getting? Lambda equal to 7 means minus 5, 1, 1, say be 2. So, here when I calculate it, minus 4, 2, 3, 3. Minus 3. So I got this equation into x1, x2, x3 equal to 0, 0, 0. So completed. Okay. All the three equations we can write it. So what are all the three equations? So 5 minus 5 x1 plus x2 plus x3 equal to 0. Second equation, 2x1 minus 4x2 plus 2x2 equal to 0. Third equation, I divide it by 3. So, I will write uh, x1 plus x2 minus x3 equal to 0. This equation also we can divide it by 2. This equation divided by 3. After dividing 3, we are getting this equation. Okay. So, like the common factors and all, we can divide it. Okay. So, now any two equation. I am going to take any two equation and solve by cross multiplication rule. Two equation, cross multiplication rule. Now, I apply. So, first two equation, I will take it. x1 divided by minus x2 divided by x3 divided by. So, when I do it. So, cross multiplication, I am going to do it. Okay. So, when I do it, it is nothing but it is divided equation that R keep it as it is and you can do it. It is not wrong. So, now 1 plus 4. Okay. So, 1, 1, minus 2, 1. Okay. Here in x2, minus 5, 1, 1, 1. x3, minus 5, 1, 1, minus 2. So, completed. Simplify this. 1, minus 2, minus 3. 1, minus 1, plus 2. So, 3, plus 3. Here, minus 5, minus 1. So, minus 6. In this, 10, minus 1, 9. Okay. So, commonly divided by 3. Okay. So, now the vector will be my answer vector will be 
my first vector. This is our first vector. So, my first vector will be, okay. So, 1 minus minus plus. So, 2 this divided by 3. So, 1, 2, 3 is the my first vector, okay. When you write it, you should not do any mistake. Minus symbol, don't forget. Compare that according to that you have to write it. Okay, so now completed. Only for a one eigen vector. Now repeated eigen value. So repeated eigen value means lambda equal to one. Okay, two times repeated. Only one time first I will take it. So when I take it, so what is my equation? Lambda equal to one. Okay, one, 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 two, two, two. I am getting three, three, three into x1, x2, x3 equal to 0, 0, 0. Okay. Now, you check the equation. All the three equations are same. Check it. This second equation, when you divide it by 2, third equation divided by 3. So, commonly only one equation I have. x1 plus x2 plus x3 equal to 0. So, in this what I am going to do, only one equation with the three variable means assume, assume any one parameter x1 equal to 0. Why only x1? Why can't I take x2? Yes, s2 also you can take 0 or x3 also 0. Your wish, any one parameter you make it 0. So, okay, I have made 0. So, then it becomes x2 plus x3 equal to 0. x2 is nothing but minus x3. It is nothing but k. k I am going to take to be take k equal to 1. Smallest value. So, when I substitute in this, I will get the vector to be. So, x2 equal to 1 and x3 equal to minus 1. So my second vector okay. my second vector will be my second vector will be x2 is nothing but 0 my second vector x2 is nothing but x1 may we have made 0 so 0 1 minus 1 okay this is one way Another answer it may be, okay, 0, minus 1, 1. Okay, there are so many possibility. Okay, so in this part, suppose somebody x2, 0, if they are taking means, okay, then x1 plus x2, x3 equal to 0. So, x1 equal to minus x3, it is nothing but k. So, again, x1 equal to 1 x3 equal to minus 1. Okay. So, the vector will be, now it will be 1, 0, minus 1. Okay. You may get another answer also. It is nothing but x3. Those who take x3 equal to 0 when you take it, you will get 1, minus 1. Okay. Only the position will change. The answers are same. You check the answer. 0, 1 and minus 1. That only position changes. Or it may be in a multiples of minus. It may be a multiples of any number. For example, 0, 2 and minus 2 also one of the answer. Okay. So, it may be any one you write that is okay. Okay. So, this is your answer. The same thing. Okay. Only for a one time we have done this. Okay. One time, one solution we have written. That is your x2. But your third eigenvector, what I have to do means, from, I have a two solution no, in this. A third vector will be, okay, so because lambda has been one more time repeated. So, my third vector, what I am going to take, which variable already taken, other one variable we have to take it equal to 0. So, now I am going to take x2 equal to 0. So, that only I have taken. So, when I take x2 equal to 0, it's nothing but x1 plus x3 equal to 0. x1 equal to minus x3. It's nothing but k. So, k to be 1. Okay, k taking to be 1. So, x1 equal to 1 
and x3 equal to minus 1, my third vector will be, this is your answer. One zero minus one is my third vector because it is repeated. Okay, in this okay, it is repeated. Okay, suppose in the starting question itself. Okay, so all the three vectors are repeated. Okay, when you have a three vectors, okay, three eigenvalues, okay, three eigenvalues, all the threes are same, one, 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 suppose you get all the three eigenvectors. What you are going to do? X1 equal to zero, one eigenvector you are going to write, X2 equal to zero, the second eigenvector you are going to write, take X3 also zero, the third eigenvector you write. Only that we can do it, okay, that is your method, okay. So, thank you. We will be seeing one more problem in the next video.